welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are doing well. I am doing much better than I was the last time. Um, I hope you and your family are doing well. Today, um, I'm going to be sharing a recipe with you guys inspired um, by a, another channel that I watch. I will leave the name of the channel um, under the bottom here. Um, and this recipe is inspired by that channel. Um, I am a kimchi maker. Um, I'm not a pro at it, <laughs> but I've tried it before. And um, today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. The last time i done it, guys, it did not come out exactly how I wanted it. So this time I did a little bit more studying and I'm going to show you how I make my kimchi. So if you're interested in making kimchi, stick around and I'll show you how I make this one. All right, family. So I'm going to share with you what I have here. I have a um, Napa cabbage. If you don't have Napa cabbage, you can always use a regular cabbage. I have about six stalks of um, scallion. That's what you'll need. And then I have some garlic here. And you will need some Korean uh, pepper. Um, and make sure you get the correct one. I'm going to show you the one that I got from Amazon. You can pick that up. You also will need some, um, some kimchi salt. Um, and you also will need um, some soya sauce. Now I want to I bring this um, I bring this soya sauce out to show you that there is different soya sauce. So make sure that you get in the correct one. The last time I had to use this because I didn't have the correct one. So I just wanted to show you that you don't want to use this one, right? Or any dark soya sauce because then your kimchi is gonna come out really dark instead of nice and bright. Okay. So this is the one that I purchased. Um, from the channel that I watch and this one is called I'm gonna give you the name of it. This one is called the um, natural brew um, Soup soy sauce. So this one is the best one to use from what I have studied so far And I have another um, you will need a little bit of vegetable. Um, this is a fermented um, organic vegetable uh, sauce and I purchased this also from Amazon. You can get that. I wish I had purchased a bigger one so you can use that. And if you don't have this, if you don't have this, you can use your fish sauce, which I'm not going to use today, but I've used this before, but I'm going to use this instead. All right. You need a measuring spoon, which is a teaspoon, and you also need a tablespoon. All right. And you just need a knife. That's all you need, guys, and a bowl. All right. So let's get this together. Oh. I love kimchi guys love fermented food because it is so super good for your body fermented food is just a food that I love to incorporate into my diet because um, you know your gut is a big part of your system so I try to use a little bit of kimchi um, kefir and um, kombucha to kind of balance out um, the body um, it sometimes is probably just me alone eat it in the house <laughs> maybe my big son will eat it a little bit too but yeah, nevertheless, guys, um, kimchi is a great form of probiotic and it's also a good enzyme for your gut system. So get a little kimchi in the body and that will be good for you, right? Anyway, guys, so let's get started. So I have my um, cabbage here, which is my Napa cabbage. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut this part off, right? Let's slice that off. And... We're going to put that to the side and then we're going to slice this down the middle like so. Slice it down like this. Like this. <clears throat> now we're going to put this one over here and then we're going to just go ahead and deal with this one. So slice this one down the middle as well. So you cut it into two. Have your bowl guys and then what you're going to do is you can either from what I've study i noticed most of the koreans the people that does it they have this thing where they slice it like that you know you can chop it like that and depending on how big you you like it but i like it small guys when i'm eating it i don't like big chunks of um kimchi on my plate so i like to kind of slice it where it's manageable so i try to chop it like that like pieces you can chop it like that if you like you can have different shapes, you know, different shapes of it. Um, so like that. Um, so when you're eating it, it's much more manageable, right? So I like some, some that is long in shape. The shape of it is long. And then I like some that is just, you know, um, smaller. So you can cut it into different shapes like so. Or you can take the smaller pieces. You can take the smaller pieces out and you can just drop it in the um, container 
Um, like I said, you can use regular cabbage, um, but from what I've studied, um, most of the people that I've seen make it, they said that if you use regular cabbage, it just gives you a lot of, the texture is gonna be a little bit different. So I try to get the, the, the um, Napa cabbage instead. I think I might only use half of my cabbage today um, because this is a lot. And it's most of the time, like I said, it's only me that is eating it. Um, the kids are not a fan of kimchi like me and Mr. Lewin is not a fan as well like I am. And I try to, I like different things. I like to try different things. So I love kimchi. And kimchi is um, a vegetable that I really like to incorporate into soups. And I like to incorporate it into, um, you know, you can eat, use it when you're having like rice, you know, you cook rice, you can use it on your rice, the top of your rice or whatever. Sometimes I will eat it with even eggs, you know, in the morning. Um, I like to get a little bit of probiotic in my um, stomach in the morning. Most of all, especially in the morning, I like to do that. So all my cabbage is cut. I got all my cabbage cut up the way I want to cut it. So let me clean this up and I'll be right. All right, family, now that we have cut up our cabbage, let's go ahead and add our salt, which is kimchi salt. You want to make sure you use kimchi salt um, because, you know, if you use anything else, you know, sometimes it can be an issue with the fermentation. Um, so we're going to add six tablespoons of salt. And then what we're going to do is we're going to stir that out. Want to make sure you stir so everything is dissolved in the water. Then you're going to just pour it onto your cabbage. And you want to let that sit for an hour. All right, family. So now that this is um, dissolved completely, then we're going to just go ahead and pour our water over into onto the... Um, make sure when you pour your water in your cabbage, make sure you're, you're, you're pushing your cabbage down in the water so everything can be covered, right? And then we're going to just let that sit for about an hour or so we'll come back and check on it and then you can just cover it and leave it on the counter i'm just going to go ahead and use the same one that i mix and just cover it and leave it for an hour okay all right family so let's go ahead and get our sauce together you're just going to need a nice little bowl to get your um sauce together so you're going to need about 10 to 12 uh, cloves of garlic and i'm going to see how much i have here so is our our um, kimchi pepper so you want to make sure that um, I ordered this on Amazon and you can get it at the Korean store if you're close to a Korean store you can purchase it there so this will be eight uh, tablespoon of kimchi pepper and then we're gonna go ahead and add our um, yandi sauce in here um, you can like I said you can purchase this on um, Amazon or if you have a Korean store that is close to you you can find it there as well um, but I made sure I was looking for it and I got it on Amazon so I'm gonna add one um, tablespoon actually two tablespoons of the uh, soup sauce let's go ahead and mix this up and you want to make sure you mix it really well see that And if you have um, plum extract, you can add that to it as well. I don't have those. I mean, my recipe is not exactly like hers, but I'm doing the best I can with what I have. And I think it will come out good still. All right, so we're gonna set this to the side. So now that we have this together, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and drain off the Napa cabbage, and then we'll bring it over and we'll get everything together. So now that we have our cabbage, let's go ahead and add our cabbage into this bowl where it's nicely, um, you can see everything nice and clear. There's sauce on top of it first. So we're gonna go ahead and add our sauce on, the, on these. And these are so good guys, just by itself, it's really, really good. So now I'm gonna go ahead and add 
the rest of the um the sauce to it i had another half of it like so and then i'm gonna rub it together right, family so now that we have our sauce on our kimchi let's go ahead and get our scallions um you notice i have the top on my scallions so you can use these and plant these in your garden so don't throw them out so we're gonna just go ahead and cut our scallion like maybe just like that so or so long and then you can put this on your kimchi just like so and if you want you can add a bit of salt after you finish um, putting everything on there don't go as fast as I'm trying to go just go as slow as you can and you see how it has that beautiful color guys if you don't have that pepper you're not gonna get that nice red color <laughs> all right family so this is our kimchi I hope that you guys enjoy the video um this is my version of my kimchi and um it is spicy guys so make sure that if you're you know when you use your hand you need to wash your hands mm, 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 mm. that is real good guys mm, 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 mm. now with this kimchi guys you don't have to have this fermented for days with the um the other kimchi i think you have to leave it for like six or seven days before you can use it um some for a couple of weeks but this one you can use right away um it's not going to be like stinky you know some people kind of like afraid of um, eating it because sometimes it has that fermented stinky smell but this one you can use right away you can just put it in your refrigerator and you can you know make a pot of rice or you can add um you know maybe like soups you can add it to your soups and all that stuff i like to add it once i make my soup with a little bit of tofu and some scallion on the top and then i add a bit of kimchi inside of it and i enjoy it like that or a little bit of white rice i love kimchi guys so this is my version of the kimchi guys i hope that you guys enjoy the video if you do don't forget to give us a thumbs up and also subscribe join us here we have quite a few um recipe that i want to share with you guys and um you know stick around there is more to come guys um if you hang in there trust me you won't be disappointed i will leave everything in the description down below so you can purchase all the stuff that i use today i'm gonna enjoy this kimchi i'm gonna put it in a container and i'm gonna place it in the refrigerator and this will last me for some weeks i'm probably gonna also maybe put some in a bottle and take to my sister because i know she loves this type of um, kimchi both of them probably do love it but i know maxine probably love it as much um as i do so anyway guys that will do it for today i hope that you guys enjoy this video i will see you guys in the next one walk good and stay on your purpose bye bye